on my vessel, baby. Captain should've never left. Consider our kids every day. Fisherman, of course, killing his own daughter. 
Moorhead, I know we've had our differences in the past, but the city needs you. Our burgeoning beachside community could be ruined by this sort of scandal. You've got to bring this man to justice, whatever it takes. I shall, Chief. You know... Some rusty chief. I mean, this kind of help. Friendly napalm. It's great for all your tree and flesh burning needs. Ooh, you mean friendly napalm is great at fighting crime as well as all the other handy uses he can be put to? That's right, I do. As a policeman and a father, and a proud American who served in two wars, then I use friendly napalm for all my napalm needs. There's nothing like a substance that sticks to your skin and roasts you alive to make you rethink your current political or economic system. Cheers, Chief. See you later. But Gordon, wait, I'm coming too. No, Molly, it's too dangerous for girls, even game little terriers like you. I insist. I may be weak and irrational and moody at times, and for 25% of a month I'm completely unbearable to be around, but I'll do anything but justice, anything at all. Besides, who else are you going to talk to? Ah, uh, you're right, Molly. You're a good kid for a dame. Oh, that's smart. Let's go, Gordon. Do you think we'll ever make it out of this crazy hellhole? I don't know, but I know I'm a man, and I know you're a woman, and I know there are things I'd like to I'm say to you. Well. Swell things, Ooh. real things, Ooh. but now ain't the time. This is too serious. All of my speech is under threat. This calls for more <laughs> to ride again. Later that evening in the murky recesses of a swamp. These wetlands sure are swampy and undeveloped. Sure. Now will you be quiet? Okay, sorry. Yeah, I wish Pablo were here to help us. His Mexican cunning would really be useful in a situation like this. Yes, he's foreign, but occasionally quite useful. Exactly. Hey, what's that noise? What noise? There, that whistling. It's Pablo! Pablo, you old dog. Ah, buenas noches, amigo. Buenas noches, señorita Martin. Pablo, what are you doing here? Oh, Pablo no can say, señorita. But since you asked, I was searching for the souls of my ancestors. But I thought you were Mexican. Why would they be buried in Florida? Yeah, that's true. They're not here. Hey, would you like a tortilla chip? Pablo, this is no time for eating. My speech is under threat. A vicious murderer, pimp, and communist is on the loose in these beautiful wetlands right on our doorstep. And we've got to find him and bring him to justice. But Gordon, what kind of idiot would hide in these awful swamps? I mean, he's full of alligators and snakes and sea cow poo poo. Who would live anywhere near this dump out of choice? You foreigners don't know much. You're a primitive. Pablo, but you're a good man. This gem of the city is exotic and relaxing once you get... Find this crazy killer. You Americanos and my people are friends forever. Oh, forever. Let's split up. Molly, you better cut across that swampy bush and swim the waterways. It's safe. Pablo and I will stick together on the dry path. Come on. This real estate market ruin and killer must be here somewhere. I mean, what kind of sick man would try to ruin Vice Beach's reputation? It's awful. Help! Help! Who is that? I'm a humble fisherman. I've broken my... Stand back. You should have stayed out of Vice Beach, you sicko. 